I mean, busy can't even describe it, really. <laughs> yeah, no, it does get cold in New York. Not quite the same way it gets cold here. You're a person and you have an inherent dignity, Kant would say. And I pulled that out and then... UVM is this perfect size where it's not so big that you're just lost, but it's not so small that you know everybody. I've done a lot of foreign travel before, and I got over there and expected to do it the way that Americans travel. I got there and I was like, let's go do this, let's go do that. But I was living with Bosnia, and so they said, no, let's sit down and drink coffee all day long, and tomorrow let's do the same thing. I love Vermont. I actually really hope that I can move back here and live here for, well, not, maybe not forever, but at some point. I actually want to go into orthopedic surgery, so the mechanical engineering aspect is very intriguing. Uh, there's a lot of research in the mechanical engineering field that's geared towards orthopedics. I mean, I've always loved being outside. It's, it's been one of those things, you know, even like as, as a family, we would go camping and hiking a lot, um, and so it's just kind of built on that. I'm trying to understand nat how natural systems work and then how you can use the principles um, of, of ecology to then create communities that are more sustainable. There is a difference between UVM and a lot of other universities, and I think it comes from the closeness between the faculty and the students. The particular kind of work I'm interested in is called structural biology, and what we do is we use physical tools to understand uh, the structure of basic biological molecules like proteins. One of the things I like to do is actually teach my courses in ways that take students out into the community. The focus that I've been most engaged in recently is going to Cuba. The students and I travel to Havana for two weeks. It's a kind of contact and exposure that you just can't get on your own when you're traveling somewhere. This is really the perfect place for me to do what I do because I'm an aquatic ecologist and we have this fantastic lake sitting less than a mile from campus. The Rubenstein Ecosystem Science Laboratory has been open since 1999 and immediately adjacent to the lab is our research vessel, the Melosyra. Those facilities are used by undergraduates as well as uh, graduate students. I think there's a real commitment to getting students out in the environment. How can you study the environment without going out into the environment? Like he, then he's, what he's doing is just taking the stuff of his life and transforming it, you know. You can find everything here. You can find, you know, the kids who, you know, are interested in their fraternities or sports or um, civic issues. Like Jean, for instance, mm -hmm. really stood out in my mind now that you mention him. Mm -hmm. But then there's also a thriving intellectual community and that's the honors program. They are among the most talented students I've ever met. It is one-sided. They're intellectuals. I've always been kind of a loner in my studies. I, I like to kind of study on my own, but you know, you find when you 
start to take these harder physics classes, you, you can't solve it by yourself. And, you know, whenever there's a homework due, there's all, all my classmates are up. Fifth floor cook building and we're all studying. It's a great experience to just know that, you know, come, come Monday morning right before we hand in our quantum homework, everybody's up there on the fifth floor studying. And if I have a question, they'll, they'll be there to answer it. UVM has a grant called the Eureka Grant available for students. I decided to do an ethnographic film in Bosnia and won a grant, so they gave me $4,000 to travel over there. I think the film that I'm going to produce will be useful because I plan on sending it back and entering it in the Sarajevo Film Festival or, or something like that. And I think it can be used as kind of a mirror for the people of that society to see, wow, this is what we all think. And it kind of gives a round perspective on the issue that you can't just get being the individual in Bosnia. When I went to Cuba in May, part of that we kind of linked up with the Burlington Free Press and agreed to kind of keep travel journals. And as a result of that collaboration, I met with the managing editor and kind of expressed interest in I was looking for something to do over the summer. Um, and he mentioned pro possibly becoming an intern. So I interned in the newsroom and I wrote a lot, which was always really good. The free press was so wonderful and supportive and like I met a lot of people and it was a really good experience. Then there's um, this other film called The Silent Daughter. That dialogue between the student and the faculty is what I think drives most of us. That's why I enjoy coming to work. People pay me to come and work and interact with students that are intelligent, ask great questions, have unique observations and different points of view that that actually get me to think about things that I probably would have never thought of. Jared, get your stick to the inside lane. Our tension right here is keeping, keeping motion without letting it speed up. I think that my favorite part of UVM is the community. I've, I know a ton of great kids here. Everybody around here seems to be really active and really excited just about living life. Expand on how the economy would actually collapse yeah. if they really you know, What you read in a book, you're going to remember for you know a few minutes to a few days to a few weeks. What you do with real world experience, you'll remember for the rest of your life. And those are the valuable kinds of learning experiences that make UVM different from bigger universities that don't give you those opportunities.